I recommend doing that before you put your makeup on every single time because your makeup isn't going to sit right on your face if it's not clean. And so now I'm just going to go in and moisturize my face with this Neutrogena Hydro Boost Gel Cream for extra dry skin. So now I'm going to go in with this Mario Podesco Facial Spray with Aloe, Herbs, and Rose Water. Rather than like going like this, you want to pat that primer in. That way it really gets into those pores. Now I'm gonna go in with the NYX Angel Veil. Now this is just a skin perfecting primer. It is oil free, which is really good for my skin. I just finished wetting my beauty blenders. Um, I used two different ones. Mainly I use this one for foundation and concealer and then I just use this one for baking. I do wet it, um, it's just my personal preference. This one is my absolute favorite sponge ever. It's the Real Technique sponge. Excuse me. You can get this at Walmart, um, Ulta, Target. It's so inexpensive, I think it's like five or six dollars. Um, but my two favorite right now to mix with is the CoverGirl Clean Matte BB Cream. And this one is in 510 Fair. Th this is a really good job just by itself, like, but it's very, very sheer, which of course that is what a BB cream is. Um, but for extra coverage, I go in with the IT Cosmetics CC Plus Cream. Um, and this one's a really good, it's a full coverage cream. Um, and it works, these two together work really well. Light like me, and you cannot find a foundation to match your skin. What I recommend is doing is just bringing it down. Like if I'm wearing a shirt like this, I'll just bring the foundation down. I don't like, look like I have two different skin colors. So that's what I recommend doing. So now I'm just going to pretty much paint this on my face. Okay, so 
now we're gonna move on to powder. Like I said before, I am oily, so I personally powder like crazy because I prefer that matte look over the dewy look. This stuff is amazing, it is bomb. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the damp beauty sponge and I'm just going to dip it into the powder. You just wanna blend that out one more time and then immediately go in with the powder. And you wanna do that dabbing motion so that that powder really sticks in there. Now, if you are a beginner at your eyebrows, I highly recommend this step just because if you mess up or if you make them too thick, like, you know, I made them way too thick, this will help clean them up. Me, I'm just taking this Real Techniques um, Dome Shadow Brush and I'm just blending out that concealer. tell it's a lot more more clean and um, it's not all messy like this one is right here I go in with my regular normal powder that I use um, this is a Smashbox photo filter powder foundation in number one bronzer from Benefit. This is the NYC Smooth, Smooth Skin Bronzing Face Powder in Sunny. And with a big um, powder brush, this is the Morphe M527. I just dip this in there, make sure there's no X 
excess on the brush. And what I do is I mainly focus this on my forehead, putting it right here. And we're gonna do that to the other side also. And what this does, this just, if you're fair like me, this just adds color to your skin. So now I'm just gonna take my powder brush right here and blend that out. The camera is making it look like like I it's really intense, but it's really not. I mean, I really blended it out. So it's just because I'm using natural lighting, so it's making the color look a little bit off and like more intense than it actually is. So the highlighter that I'm using today is the Tardis Pro Glow. You can get this at Ulta, Sephora, um, on the Tarte website. It doesn't really matter. Um, and I'm gonna go in with this one right here. Um, it's called Stunter. It's so pretty. Oh my God. And you just wanna tap a little bit of it off and mainly focus this on the top of your cheekbone. And I'm also gonna highlight the top of my Cupid's bow my nose, down the bridge, and a little bit on my chin. And I'm going to highlight underneath my brow. Scandalous Eyes Waterproof Coal in Black. I'm, I add some black eyeliner to the top of my eyelashes just because it makes the eyelashes look a lot longer. And the bottom waterline also. Now the last thing I'm gonna do, I always do it no matter what, is I always set my makeup with setting spray. Now I'm using the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. It's the Prime Correct and Set 16 Hour Wear. So this is my final look. Um, just a simple everyday makeup look. This is pretty much what I do every time. Um, if I don't want to do a full glam, eyeshadow, eyelashes, all of that, this is pretty much where I keep it. And it's a nice, simple, easy look. And you don't have to spend a lot of time doing it either. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. And please subscribe to me.